with Engage New York, I feel like the kids are truly extended more in terms of their critical thinking skills. Uh, well, at the beginning, we do have some fluency practice, and then we move into more of a concept development part of the lesson, and then we come back together and share how we were able to solve it. There are a lot of times using Engage New York that students turn and talk to each other. They're able to tell how they got their answer. They won't tell you the exact answer, they'll just help you like get it set up or get the problem laid down. I think it's helpful because I like to see the results, what they got and see if I got the same things. And then if I need to fix it, I can. There's a lot of conversation with kids and kids learn a lot from each other. Five groups of three. Hey, that's funny. You change it the other way around. Yeah. We're giving our kids multiple strategies for solving problems. You know, I can use pictures, diagrams, or I can solve it mathematically with an equation, and it's just having those options. It's fun because you get to share your opinion about something, and see if you guys are right or not. Okay. The kids in fifth grade are seeing and are able to see that there's two, three, four ways to possibly solve a, a word problem. Second grade, building arrays, to do repeated addition when typically they're doing that third and fourth grade with multiplication, they're giving these second graders a head start. So by the time they get to third and fourth grade, they have a deep understanding of multiplication without even knowing that they were doing multiplication. We add them together by doing repeated addition. So. Um, we typically start out with some fluency practice, even aloud. Um, so we might punch out our math facts for multiplication together. We were doing some exercising to make our brain our blood flowing. They really like happy counting. Um, they really like the sprint. In the sprint, there's goal setting. So there's a little bit of personal competition there. I like that we get to do the um, fluency practice at the beginning to go over what we've learned and what we're gonna like start learning. I love the application problem that it requires them to think and to problem solve and to discuss with one another. I think that collaboration is key. Okay. Um, in the workplace, someday they're going to collaborate with other teammates and we've been able to incorporate our iPads into uh, the classroom. If I want them to draw a tape diagram, for example, they can just pop up that app. You use the same words, tape diagram, area model, and that's consistent from kindergarten through sixth grade. So you're gonna end up with um, but we've come to the realization that they're not just teaching area, they're teaching distributive property and commutative property, you know, have a deep understanding of how these numbers are working. Uh, what we're doing is we're um, multiplying whole numbers by fractions and uh, dividing whole numbers to get a fraction. I like that it challenges me. It will help me when I'm a geologist when I grow up. And they're feeling a lot more confident and feeling better about math. I wasn't prepared to see my kids gain so much in a short amount of time. Um, I, I'm amazed at what my kids have been able to do. I really like math. I think it's the my favorite subject of the day.